right now. Um, I just wanted to share um, Spite and Dival on the chat, and I invite anyone else who'd like to share the small press, you know, sometimes avant-garde presses that publish many of our work. Um, so you can find my first book there, my first full-length um, book of poems. Uh, so I, anyway, I'm going to read uh, two poems, one that's in my second book, my manuscript in progress, and one that's very new that I just wrote a few days ago, so that, that may end up in that manuscript as well. Okay, and um, just a sec here. I watched my super take a photo of a small white rose in Crown Heights, it is December. His mother from Barbados is in a wheelchair. She has diabetes. I have not seen her outside in quite a while. He says to me, of course, of course I have to do this. Uh, so here's the very new one. June in the park with Clover. June 5th, 2020. Brooklyn, New York. I cannot tell the difference between the wail of a human and the wail of a siren anymore. I tried to hug the grass I am lying on. The birds keep singing, the crowd keeps chanting, the birds join the protesters in song. Is this a new kind of spring migration? Where's the rally, a passerby asks. A girl in the distance practices backflips on the grass. I have not been able to embrace another person. For over three months, I have not been able to hold another person's hand. I have not been able to put my arms around a friend. I ask the leaves of the grass and clover to hug my skin. Another helicopter hovers low overhead. My mother asks me to assure her that I am truly cured, truly in remission from my former disability. I assure her yes, and I am truly not certain. A black mother walks past me, her young black son running joyfully through the clover. A little black girl in a red dress blows dozens of big rainbow bubbles into the humid air. A few cool raindrops fall. That's it. 